Okay, so now for my plans for May. So for my um, morning stitch for the month of May, of course, is going to be Little House Needleworks May. And I actually started it this morning. And this is where I've gotten to. This is about about 45 minutes of stitching. That's what I worked on. Um, I am stitching this on 14 count Ada. It's a scrap, just a scrap piece of fabric. That's what I'm stitching all of them on is just a scrap piece of fabric. And this is one that I actually writ dyed. I used lemon yellow and coral. I used like three or four drops of lemon yellow and one drop of coral. So it's kind of, it's, it's, it's kind of a buttery yellow with just a hint of coral in it. I don't know how to explain it. It, it looks really orange up here, but it's not. This is right here is more of the true color. What it is. Anyway, so that is part of my morning stitch for the month of May. The other one is Beauty and Simplicity by Lori Holt from the Prim Stitch series. So those are two things that I plan on working on in May. The other thing is I am, I decided kind of at the last minute to participate in Brenda and Laura's Blackbird Design Weekend Sell. And if you don't know what it is, go back and watch their channel. They've talked about it in the last few videos. And I'm sure they'll talk about it in their video for today. But um, because I kind of have scheduled starts, you know, where I'm starting on birthdays and kind of holidays and stuff. And that's when I'm, that's how I'm doing my starts. I didn't know how to work this one in. So I decided to pick something small that I could get finished this weekend and um, and I could still participate in it. And I will put the hashtag below. I think it's BBD Weekend Sell, I think is the hashtag, but I will link it below or I will put it in the description box below. So I decided to do this one. Hats off to Uncle Sam. And this chart only has three colors in it and this is all that is you stitch it's just the top here of this drum i'm not going to make it into a um i thought about doing it because i i like this idea but i I've, I've come up with something else i think i'm going to do anyway so i decided to pick something that was really fast you know that was really simple that i could probably get this done this weekend so, here we go. This is about an hour or so of stitching. I have chosen my own colors. Um, this is stitched on just a piece of scrap I had in my stash. It is 14 count Ada. And I believe it's writ dyed um, charcoal gray, if I'm not mistaken. And so the three colors I chose are 37.50 for the blue, 38.65 for the white, and 8.17 for the red. So pretty. And not only am I stitching one, I am stitching two. So I was able to complete these last night. Um, it took about three and a half hours maybe to stitch this. Or not completed. They are not completed. I still have to add the red and the white. But this is, the blue is the majority of the stitching. So yeah, anyway, I plan on finishing stitching these tonight not fully finishing them um, that's going to be down the road because I need to um, get some supplies but I will 
be stitching and, fin and finish stitching them tonight. All right, so for May, I have chose three focus pieces I want to work on in the month of May. One of them, my goal is to complete. So the first thing I'm going to show you that I am working on in the month of May is Sheep Virtues by Little House Needleworks. And I started these last May, May of 2020, as part of a stitch along that someone was doing um, for the month of May to do the Sheep Virtues. I have a finishing idea. And because of the finishing idea, these are stitched kind of in an odd order. So these first ones I'm showing you are stitched on 14 count vintage country mocha. And these are the ones I have completed. I completed these last, last year, I believe between May and June, I think I got them finished. So there's patience and kindness and this one is faith and simplicity and I sewed these ones together because of my finishing idea I needed these ones stitched together and then this one is hope and peace and also stitched together and then I stitched this band because I need it for part of my finishing. So, and these, these six were done on 14 count vintage country mocha. And I am not, I haven't decided. So I have all of the buttons that, that you can order to go with these. And I haven't decided if I'm using the buttons or not, at least on these ones. And I remember stitching these last, so I started at the 1st of May, but when we were sitting with my dad, when he was um, dying, I worked on these. So anyway, so I got that, those done last year. So I decided this month, this year, because I started them a year ago, and I decided May is the month that they are going to be finished. So I have, so I have six, six of them left. I have gratitude. Um, this one is joyful. Love. Friendship. Courage. And... Um, I'm going to do this not showing the chart. Wisdom. And wisdom is what I'm working on right now. So I have the six to finish. Now these ones, I am stitching them on Vintage Country Mocha, but I'm using 18 count. And, um, okay, scissors stuck to my magnet. So I'm using 18 count because I want these to be a little bit smaller because of my finishing idea. So I, I did pull this one out last night and work and worked on the book, but I had all of, let's see, let me think. I had the tree, the wisdom, the sheep done and the branches on the tree. And so last night I did the leaves and the book I think I had and maybe the red I think I did the red yesterday too these so all I have left on this is the border these are very quick to stitch up the, um, I can sit down in a couple of days and have these ones done so anyway those are those this is one of my my biggest and most major focus piece for the month of um, May because I want that those completed. Okay, the other two charts, the other two things I pulled out that I want to focus on in May is Things Unseen, a mystery sampler by Lizzie Kate. This is what the whole thing looks, looks like. It's not a mystery anymore. 
And I started this in March. This was actually my first day of spring start. And I'm stitching this on 14 count parchment. I need to remember to say what I'm stitching these on because I've had some people tell me that I don't always say. One thing I will tell you is I always stitch on 14 count Ada or 18 count Ada. That's all I stitch on. So I will be trying, I'll try better to let you know whether it's 14 or 18 and um, what the color is. But when I, I stitched, so I only have st stitched on this on one day and that was the first day of spring in March. So this is where I'm at. Um, I am using all of the call for DMCs. I, I believe. So this is where I, I left off in March. So I plan on, I won't finish this. I know I won't finish this in May, but I'm going to give it some love. We will see. Um, and 14 count parchment is the color of fabric and it's Swigart based. All right, and then, Also in May, my other focus piece is going to be um, When Flowers Blossom. And I believe I started this one in February. I did. I started this for Valentine's Day in February. It is also part of a sal, which is Friendship Blossom Sal. And I believe it was started by um, Annie B's Folk Art and Kim Goldman, um, the Contented Stitcher. They started as a cell. I am stitching this on 18 count Vanilla Latte by Bestitch, by Bestitch Me. And this is where I'm at. This is more than, I started this on February 14th, but I also, I think I worked, I've worked on it, I know more than just one day because there's no way I could have stitched that much in one day. I think I pulled it out in, I believe March and worked on it a little bit. That's where I'm at. Um, cute, I love this. So I, this is another one I don't think I will finish in um, the month of May, but I just want to give it some love. Okay, so now let's get on to my new starts for the May, for the month of May. So I have one, two, so I have a, my husband's birthday and I have my grandson's birthday. And then I have my daughter's birthday and a granddaughter's birthday. And my daughter and granddaughter shared the same birthday. And then there is Mother's Day and Memorial Day. So I have one, two, three, four, five new starts for the month of May. All right. So for, let's back up. So for May, on um, my husband's birthday, I plan on starting this one. It's called Oh My Stars, and it's by Little House Needleworks. And I am also doing this as part of a stitch along with Jeanette and Heather. Um, the name of their channel just completely went out of my brain. Country. Let's see. Country cottage? No. I'll put a below. Sorry, Jeanette and Heather. I am so sorry. Anyway, Jeanette is Carly Court um, stitching stitcher. Carly Court Stitcher on Instagram and Heather is White House Stitchery on Instagram. I'm sorry. Anyway, so they are doing the Star Spangled Social. 
Hashtag Star Spangled Social. I will put it below. Um, and so I decided this is patriotic. The little girls, it's all my stars, and the little girls are holding flags, and it says 1776 with the flag. I'm going to pull this out. <laughs> because you can't see it. This is my bar. There we go. So I am going to start this for my husband's birthday, but it will also be part of the cell. And I am stitching it on a piece of, um, let me see if I can find my card. Vintage Country Cream, 14 count. And it is just a, it's one of the, it's by Fa Fabric Flair. And it's one of the ones that, actually it's not by Fabric Flair. This is one of Swigart's where it's screen printed on the front. It's hard to tell. It has a little bit of modeling. It's kind of white with some yellow and green modeling on it. Anyway, that's what I'm stitching that on. Sorry, I dropped it. So that's one of my starts. And I just want to show you this bag. My bag. I made this bag also as part of the Star Spangled Social. And this is the inside. I didn't have enough fabric for the front and back, so I just used two different fabrics. Anyway, I feel like this video is like all over the place. Okay, so another start that I'm going to start is Union Forever by Maggie Benonomy. And Blackbird Designs um, published it, but the design is by Maggie Benonomy. And she is very well known um, as a wool, wool stitcher, a wool applique. I plan on starting this one on Memorial Day. It's going to be my Memorial Day start. I'm trying to do smaller starts this month. Um, I do have one big one, but I'm trying to do smaller ones because I have so many big ones going. And this is the fabric I picked. It's 14 count, um, like tea and coffee dyed that I plan on stitching it on. Um, maybe. I am just still not 100% sure I'm going to use that. We will see. Okay, so... Those ones are my starts. Okay, so then I also have my Mother's Day start, which is going to be Heartland Sampler by the Scarlet House. This was a gift. The chart was not the full kit, but it was a gift from my daughter last year for Mother's Day. So I thought Mother's Day this year will be a good day to start it. And I'm starting this along with an Instagram friend. So um, I, there's no hashtag. But if you want to start it on Mother's Day with us. and um, Or Mother's Day weekend or any time in May whenever you want to. Or if you're stitching it. Um, tag me so that I can see. I can see it. So I have all of the floss in here. It is all ready to go. I am stitching it on a piece of Vanilla 18 Count by Color and Cotton fabric. And I'm using all of the DMC threads. Um, a couple of colors I am changing up. And um, because, like the carrots, there's some carrots here. The colors weren't orange enough for me. Um, and I think I'm changing the red on the house. So anyway, that's my Mother's Day start. All right, so then my last two starts is the two, the other two birthdays. So I have a grandson that has a birthday and then a granddaughter and my daughter who share the same birthday. So I don't know when I'm going to, which, which one I'm going to start on which 
birthday. Whichever one I guess I pull out of the bag. The first one I am going to start, or one of them I'm going to start, not necessarily the first one, is going to be Farmer's Daughter by Little House Nail Work. I love this chart. I have loved it since the first time I saw it. And I decided this is a good month to start it. And I am using, I have it all ready to go. I'm using all of the DMC floss. And I am using a piece of 14 count Ada that I writ dyed. And it is, um, I think I dyed this one with evening blue. And then I over dyed it just very quickly with denim blue because the evening blue was a little bit too much of an aqua color for me. So then I just quickly dipped it in some denim blue and pulled it out and rinsed it. So anyway, that is going to be one of my May starts. I think that will be very pretty on there. My other May start is going to be so Sisters by Plum Street. And I have it all kitted. Now, this one, I am stitching on a piece of um, 14 count dapple by Picture This Plus is what I'm stitching it on. And I have went through and I am completely converting the colors on this. So you'll notice these are more golds and reds and rusts and more prim. And I am adding pinks and yellows and blues and creams. And anyway, I'm completely changing the colors up on this. As I stitch it, I will, um, when I finish stitching, I will show you my conversion. I will let you know my conversion because even though I pulled all of the colors and I'm pretty sure where I'm going to use them, I may change my mind. So anyway, so those are my May starts. I'm excited. So the next, hopefully the next time you see me, I will have some progress on some of these. Okay, so I think that is it for my stitching. So I'm going to stop this right here, and I'm going to do a part three to show you my quilting, because I have been making stuff. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 